Welcome back to Kearsarge Valley Magazine. I'm joined now by Robert Sella and Julia Gibson. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you. Uh, you're both here. Robert, you're directing. Julia, you're an, uh, an actress and a director, apparently, in your own right. Um, but you're both in the production of Harvey here at the New London Barn Playhouse this summer. Um, so tell me a little bit first about your backgrounds and how you ended up in New London for this production. Robert, let's start with you. Well, I had the great uh, good fortune to be acquainted with Carol Dunn, who's the artistic director of the New London Barn, and Carol asked me a couple of seasons ago if I would be interested in directing, which is something I had been wanting to do. I am primarily an actor. I live in New York City. And uh, I came out and directed My Fair Lady, which was a play that I had done as a performer, so I had a little knowledge of the play. I saw that and I loved it. Oh, I'm grateful. Good. Yeah. We had a wonderful time. And it was really um, so restorative for me because, you know, when you live in the city and you're, uh, you're working as an actor, you're traveling around auditioning, it can be sort of exhausting. And when I came out here, I loved the area and the, and the whole intern company and the whole feeling of the barn was wonderful. So I was so pleased to be asked back. And so I'm here doing Harvey, which is a play I, I also love, but it's, it's new to me. I've never done it. Uh, I've seen it, but that's about it. Okay. Okay. Julia, tell me about your background. Well, I also live in New York City and uh, work as an actor. And Robbie and I did a play together um, several years ago. And uh, so we have acted together and have known each other for a long time. So he uh, invited me up here to play Vita Louise in the production of Harvey, and uh, I couldn't pass by another opportunity to work with Robbie. So, uh, and I love the play; it's a wonderful play. So I'm really delighted to be here. It's great to have you both in the area. Uh, it's a wonderful treat for us locals that get to meet um, people from other areas of the country, and especially quality professional actors and actresses. Um, tell me a little bit more about Harvey, because this is a very interesting play. It is. It's a, really, uh, it's really a charming play that has all sorts of different elements. It's very funny, but I think it's also very smart, and it's very moving to me. Mm -hmm. And it's basically the story of uh, a brother and sister, Elwood Dowd and his sister, Vita Louise Simmons. Vita Louise's husband is no longer living, and she and her young daughter, Myrtle May, move back into Elwood's house, the family home they grew up in. And shortly upon arriving there, they realize that Elwood has a very uh, interesting take on life in that he has a friend named Harvey, who is invisible to almost everybody in the town except to Elwood, who is a six foot, one half inch tall rabbit, six and a half foot tall rabbit. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so you can I see imagine. Why he's invisible that's, to those people. <laughs> that's right. Makes perfect sense. Right. And it's sort of about the way that they sort of live with him and try to figure out how they're going to deal with Harvey. and. The audience sort of goes on a journey of wondering, is Harvey really there or is he not? Is he real or is he imaginary? And the delight that comes from figuring out which is which. We were talking beforehand and you were saying, uh, Julia, how at first when you, you see the play, you think this is a comedy and this is a, a kind of a crazy guy that believes in this very large rabbit. But there's a deeper meaning here. Well, it is a comedy, but, but I think initially the assumption is that everybody but Elwood knows that there is no rabbit and the audience knows there's no rabbit and Elwood is just, you know, uh, but as the play goes on there you start to realize there's more to this rabbit and maybe he's not the only one who sees it <laughs> and maybe he's not, uh, maybe, maybe there's something real point, and huh? something, yes, yes, yes. We all need things to believe in, mm -hmm. and um, that can't be bad if it's used, I, I would think, in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Well, the rabbit is based, he's called a puka, which is a, a name of, a, of an old uh, like folk legend, I think it's Celtic in its origins, about these mythical, or maybe not, creatures who present themselves to humans in order to either guide them or help them, or just create mischief and to sort of, uh, sort of play, with, uh, play with time and space. And so it is, a, it is a real concept, and people have talked about them and perhaps seen them or, or had them in their lives throughout the centuries. So it's, uh, it's, it's Elwood's personal puka, Harvey, that creates all kinds of magic in this play. So, Julia, tell me about the character that you play. Well, I play Elwood's sister, and um, I'm, I ha my daughter, I'm trying to get my daughter set in life, set up with a husband and get her life going and trying to find our place in the community, in the society. And so this crazy brother with the invisible rabbit makes that very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I love him dearly 
And so, so my journey is a lot about the struggle between trying to do what I need to do for her and having to deal with him and I make some changes along the way, but you have to come see it. <laughs> I think it's an interesting <laughs> dynamic, yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is definitely, a, it sounds like a family play for, absolutely. for all ages. Yes, oh, it's yes. absolutely. It's really, it takes place here in America, like as I said to you before, a little bit of right before the end of World War II in 1944. So it's a much different time. I'm sure a lot of our audience members will remember that time and yeah. think of it, uh, you know, some, some of their memories will be fond of that period of time, the home front. and. Um, a simpler time but a complicated problem and uh, and the story of family and love which is absolutely uh, universal to everybody so well this is you've got to come out and see Harvey it begins next next 15th. week the That's 15th right. of yeah. June okay and uh, goes for just a week it's not a two-week production right? That's right so you'll want to come out to the box office and get your tickets or I know they can go online now and get tickets too I think as that's well, true. which makes it very easy and it's been a delight meeting both of you and I wish you all the best with the play and enjoy the area while you're here. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you Kathy, thanks. Thanks for being here. When we return I'll wrap up this weekend edition of KVM with some highlights coming up on the next weekday edition starting on Monday evening so stay with us. <laughs>